speech, never a dull moment. There's always an interesting person or place. Yeah, you to quite possibly out. found two of the most interesting <laughs> places: those guys and then the Erotic Art Museum. The World Erotic Art Museum. It's a gem, indeed. Is it scandalous before parents let their children go into this world? Well, she tries to present everything in a very artistic way. Okay. So it's art. It's not porn. All right, take a look. When you think of erotica, you probably think of that one Madonna song or something pornographic-ish, you pervert you. But here at the World Erotic Art Museum on South Beach, it's so much more. There's sculptures, paintings, Hollywood memorabilia. Yup, that is the murder weapon from A Clockwork Orange. They even have a replica of Catherine the Great's chair that's totally carved with erotic themes. So what kind of wild child would open a place like this? The same woman who along with her late husband established the Wilsig Hospital Center in Jersey and the Holocaust Museum in Washington. 70-something year old grandmother Naomi Wilsig. One of these things is definitely not like the other, so what was her motivation? It's an education and it's an awakening that we all are sexual beings, in case you didn't notice it, or didn't remember it, or didn't know it, and that the human body and sexual acts shouldn't be forbidden, but brought out into the open in their honesty, and in their purity, and in the fact that it expresses the love that people have for each other. And there is a whole lot of love up in here. 138 Kama Sutra inspired ways to love, carved right on this bed. And what makes this piece particularly special? Well, this is actually the first piece in my personal collection. This started it all. Uh, I bought it for my son, uh, thinking he'd love it, that it was a beautiful, sexy girl. And as he described it, it wasn't hot enough. <laughs> he said it was too beautiful, too romantic. So I kept it and hung it in my own home. And that was the very first erotic piece that I hung in my own home. You may recognize her son, probably seen him on South Beach. He goes by Sir Ivan, musician, peace activist, superhero. Her other son is a collector, just like mom, and his daughter's an accomplished businesswoman as her father was. So what does the family think of the museum? They were a little bit more reserved about the idea, but now they've all sort of jumped on the bandwagon and are very supportive. They think I've done something very unique and important here in Miami. There's more room on that bandwagon, but it's a $15 ride. If date night's getting stale, this'll liven it up. 